I'm Louisa Olafi, co-founder of Kunda Kids and co-author of Queen Ya Saves the Golden Stool, also co-written by Oladele Olafi and illustrated by Isabel Irabo and Tiola Olafi. <laughs> Meet Queen Ya, leader of the Ashanti Kingdom, a rich place full of gold, chocolate and beautiful things, paintings, statues and shiny rings. Nana and Amina were Yar's two best friends. Together they loved to have great adventures. They danced all day and swam in the deep blue lakes and talked with their friends, the birds and the snakes. Even as a queen, though Yar loved to play, she also had responsibilities and chores to do every day. One of which was the most important responsibility of all, and that was to look after the precious golden stool. The golden stool was like nothing you've ever seen. It was the prized possession of the kingdom and the queen. People traveled the golden stool from far and wide and its engravings told a history of the kingdom and its tribes. One evening after cleaning the stool, Ya and her friends took a walk through the woods. They sang with the birds and climbed up the odum tree and relaxed under the stars in the canopy. Down below the girls heard some chatter and they peeped through the leaves to see what was the matter. A group of outsiders were walking through the woods. They were plotting, they were planning, they were up to no good. The girls stayed very quiet and they hid out of sight. Tonight is the night, they heard someone say. We'll steal the golden stool. We will be rich and our family will rule. <laughs> Quickly, the girls jumped down the odum tree and ran back home to tell the others what they had seen. But when they explained what had happened in the woods, the people didn't care about protecting the stall like they should. The kingdom became divided and confused. And when Ya pleaded with them to save and protect the golden stall, the people refused. Oh. Some people in the kingdom wanted to sell it for chocolate and honey and others wanted to trade it for more gold and money. The next day, Yar said, if you will not protect the golden stool, me and my army will. But the people laughed and they said, small girls and some animals cannot fight very well. But later that day, the kingdom was raided. The outsiders broke in and they invaded. The people were scared and they wished that they had prepared a defense. But that's until Queen Ya and her army broke through the fence. They charged at the invaders and confused their plan for attack. Ya saved the golden stool and told them, never come back. The people were happy and told Ya that they could finally see the importance of protecting their culture and taking responsibility. Ya went on to protect the stool, which shone bright like the sun. She would teach the people to preserve their culture and remember the great things that they had done. The end. Queen Ya Saves the Golden Stool is a fictional story based on a real life hero, Ya Asantiwa, queen mother of Ejisu in the Ashanti Empire, now known as modern day Ghana. The golden stool is a real life emblem of the kingdom's cultural system and power. And today, the stool is housed in the Asante Royal Palace in Kumusi, Ghana, West Africa. I hope you enjoyed that story.